Hello everyone, you're watching Cardi Golf. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to Cardi Golf. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Back with a new video today, and today we're talking grip. Basically, uh, we're talking about the essentials of having an important grip. We're going to hit some shots with an extremely weak grip and a really strong grip. And then we're going to hit some shots with what we think is a perfect grip and we're going to see the difference in the flight. Uh, I think Joe's just going to speak to you now about what your grip should ideally look like. Yeah, so just a real quick one on grip, guys, and how to hold a golf club. You've heard us both talk loads about how there's no right way to do it. <clears throat> no, uh, about three, four weeks ago, we talked about the perfect swing. No such thing as the perfect swing. There's probably really no such thing as the perfect grip either. However, when you look at tour players, the one characteristic they do all share is a pretty good grip or a pretty neutral grip. Okay, so. In terms of position, I'm not going to go into this, this loads. If you want to go and learn the perfect grip for you, then you should definitely be going to see your local PGA Pro. But you would be looking for two and a half, maybe knuckle showing on your gloved hand. This hand coming underneath. I like to interlock. Some players overlap, whatever. That one coming down, sitting on top, and I can't quite see from there maybe, but this V and this V pointing up towards your right shoulder now. That's what we call a neutral grip. The reason that is, is because the hands naturally fall down into that neutral position. So if we start with a grip that's too strong, we're likely to, by the time our hands have got back to neutral, we're likely to hit it left, see the club face is hooded, and vice versa with a weak grip, you're likely to hit it right. Now, as Sam said, we're gonna have a little bash at those today and see how easy or difficult it is to hit a goal shot straight with a poor grip or let's just say a non-textbook grip. Here we are, Sam's about to show us his normal flight with his normal neutral grip. Let's check it out. Look at that, beautifully neutral. Here we go. Stunning. We have Joe's shot with a neutral grip. You see it's probably quite similar to mine. Nice. Let's see the strongest grip you got. Wow, look at that. that just... Do you think like you've got any chance of hitting it straight from there? No, not yeah, like, at all. I feel like I feel like I'm driving a motorbike. <laughs> yeah, I mean you have to like press so far forward just to like square the face. It wants to shut so bad. I mean if I do even if I do hit it straight, it's going left. I mean so it's going low. Low. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that is oh my. God. Have a little bit. I reckon. I reckon. I reckon in three you could do it. You reckon? Yeah, I reckon your hands are good enough. In three you could do it. Oh, oh. that's not bad. That's cool. Third one's got to be the charm. I told, I told you in three you could do it. Oh. Tell you what, they're not bad efforts. I think it's gone just as far, you know. Yeah, oh, I agree. Apart from the first one. How do you feel holding it like that? Just awful. Like, it felt like you've serious press to get it <laughs> sort of somewhat square. But, I mean... But a testament to how good your hands are. You, in three shots, you actually got that moving towards the target, even if it was left... 20 feet left or whatever. I mean, the first one was... So oh, yeah, far. the first one. I mean, the first one, one, yeah. one was barely in the range. <laughs> Okay, let's. We have... need a ruling on Joe's grip. It's not anywhere near. Oh, no, the right. right hand grip has got to be. Sam just put me in this position. I'm thinking my <laughs> grip is like twice as strong as his one. Really? Yeah, honestly, I feel like I'm going to break my wrist if I try <laughs> this. You're not doing it right then, unless you feel that like. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Instantly makes you have the posture of like a ninety year old man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel so scared. <laughs> well, I'll get my posture. How's your posture now? Good. Right, okay. Oh, that is quite good for a first go. Happy? Yep. Ooh, oh, close. <laughs> it's just... Good? Yep. Oh, oh I slowed down on it. It's just so difficult. <laughs> 
So we're on to the weak grip. I mean, no knuckles on show there. No knuckles on show. Get that right hand wrapped right over. Come on, that. There you go. There you go. There you go. I mean, right, okay. So that's super weak. Mate, like, you feeling like, like... Shoulders like out here though. Like you've got to... <laughs> There's a super slice up. coming on. There's no way I'm standing here for this, no, by I'm the way. <laughs> um, just for, for the record, ladies and gents, every shot we're hitting was six iron today. So here comes Sam with a super weak grip. Okay, just for the record, he's also said he thinks this is harder. I think this is harder. Go on then, let's see if you can get it straight from there. I'm just going to be on grip, please, over here. Yeah, I'll let you. Ooh. Oh, the club, just goes, <laughs> the club just goes so open. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> Lock shot. Is a chaser even going to work for oh, that? I don't know if it's going to catch it. <laughs> That's gone sideways. Come on, you can do it. Work those hands harder. Get them flipping. Move right there. Oh. <laughs> I, can't, I can't honestly get it around. The club. I, I think that's interesting. So the club literally just goes like that. That's it's amazing. like a bunker shot. Last go. Come on. Let's just. <laughs> that is the move. You've got to have to get literally like. I'm trying so hard to square the face, I can't tell you how hard Oh, I'm well, there you go. Brilliant. That one was so much harder, by the oh, way, honestly. Well, it looks harder. I mean, your golf ball is not so far right there. So, no knuckles, yeah? No knuckles. Happy that that's no knuckles. It gets right in your palm as yeah, well. Yeah, no, it? you so want it there. Yeah, yeah. That's... So, all of a sudden, you feel like you've got no leverage as well. It's awful. There, no knuckles. Are they happy? And yeah. then this one just comes right over. Right, right, right over. Okay. In theory, if you set up with your hands there, club head's square. If you can get your hands back to there, you'll hit it straight, won't you? But you can't not flare it. Away, yeah, I mean, we both we both managed with the really strong grip to find some way of manoeuvring it straight-ish. I mean, you just had no chance like this, did you? That so was I'm, just. It was. I think I'm going to try it for flop shots. I think. Yeah, if well, I really want a high flop shot, I'll just get two really weak grips because um, it just goes so open. I know a lot of people would coach that out of like pot bunkers at Lynx mm. Golf Course, just really weaken the grip. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite like it, to be honest, for a flop present, shot. Yeah, helps present loads a lot. For a struck six iron, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. When you've got six irons to green. Right, okay, I'm going to have a go. Good luck. Thank you. How's it feeling, Joe? Oh, it, it feels... It, after seeing yours, I feel like I've got like no chance. I thought before filming this, this would be the easier of the two. I don't think. Absolutely no chance. If your grip's weak enough. Well, is it? Yeah, just about. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go. Yeah. I'll throw it if it's any weaker. Yeah. I'll be honest. There's a there's a tinge of relief in my mind at the minute. <laughs> I've still got two more going. I know, but I'll yeah. get that. You know what? For impact, I thought I had it then. Come it's on. So hard, is it? Yeah. I think the key is to try somehow not let the club face get so open. Because on just, the way back. Yeah. Do you know what I did? I moved the ball forward with my stuff. <laughs> did gave myself more time Cheating. to release. <laughs> right. Okay. I'll get back to him. Come on. I'm just going to release the life out of this really early. Yeah. Oh. That is not bad. Do you know what I did? I started to try and release it and square it up like yeah, there. Yeah, I tried so hard, but I, gee, I just went with the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I went so over the top. Can I cheat and have one more go? Yeah, go on. He uh, thinks he's mastered it. I think I've got it. I think I'm onto something. There and there. Yeah? Yeah. Yes! Ooh. Draw? <laughs> I've literally tried to snap hook it. That was impressive. Thank you. It really hurts though. Well, what about that? To be honest, I thought it was quite interesting really. It was difficult. It was way more difficult than I thought. The weak grip for me was just like <laughs> impossible. Because I hit a little bit of a fade anyway and that just exaggerates you know, I know. My, my fault. And it's crazy that actually people play golf with those grips. Well, I yeah. see the grips that we Especially managed to the produce. Especially the strong one, I think. I think the strong yeah, one. Yeah, absolutely. One. I mean, the grips that we managed to produce 
and actually I was in physical pain trying to hit a ball yeah. <laughs> people grip it worse than that mm. and get away with it mm. sometimes I think it's quite I've spoken to good players before that say like if they really really need to work a draw or they really need to work a fade they will alter their grip ever so slightly which I thought that kind of proved that I mean kind of on a lesser scale I mean I yeah my f six shots were big three big fades and three big draws basically so that for me kind of hit home that if that if you really need to trying to hook it around a tree or whatever yeah definitely that is actually an option that yeah you could potentially explore you could use grip i don't yeah i know people that would use grip mm. to 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 shape golf shots it's really interesting for, for me there was <clears throat> two huge things come from that one of which i wasn't expecting at all um i mean firstly aside like how important it is to actually grip it yeah not quite not well exactly. like i said before there is no rights or wrongs necessarily but crikey's it does make life a lot easier if you have a good grip why is like like shining on me you messiah <laughs> <laughs> well i'm leaving that in um and uh, the other thing is just how quickly you can actually adapt and learn something and how good humans are at, at being able to manipulate their hands and do those things because mm. we I mean both weak and strong our first shots were horrific yeah so like three shots to be able to actually get the ball to do something so there's the uh, the kind of value of practice yeah um, and they general. say they do say even if you are practicing the wrong things it's not worth it but it yeah. probably shows that some practice is better than absolutely nothing yeah I know I absolutely agree I think poor practice is probably better than no practice Maybe discussion for well, time. Maybe, yeah. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> well, that was a good laugh. Oh, it? That was quality. <laughs> Thanks, guys, and we'll see you all next time. See you next week, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me at Cardi Golf on all other social media, and I'll see you next week.